Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sub. So in this video series, I will be telling you about how to get the particular solution and we will study about the first rule in particular solution, right? So what are the first rule for calculating the particular solution? So the particular integral or the particular solution mainly depends upon the right hand side function. So we assume the right hand side function to be e to the power ax plus by. So if the function is e to the power ax plus b by, you will simply replace d by a and d dash by b. So when you replace d by a and d dash by b, we will get e raised to power ax plus b by. And in the denominator, d will get replaced with a and d dash will get replaced by b. So this is possible till the denominator is not becoming zero. So once the denominator becomes equal to zero, it is a case failure. So in that case, we will multiply the numerator with x and we will take the derivative of the denominator with respect to capital D, right? So now let's try to apply this in the question. So we need to solve d squared minus d dash square z is equal to e raised to power x plus 2y. So here, this is a non-homogeneous equation. So the solution comprises of the particular integral as well as the complete solution, the complementary function, right? So let us try to calculate the complementary function. So we take the auxiliary equation as d squared minus d dash squared is equal to zero. So convert it into an algebraic expression by putting d equal to m and d dash equal to one. So we get m squared minus one is equal to zero. So m squared is one. So that means m is equal to plus minus one, right? So if m is plus minus 1, that means what is the complementary solution? It is f1, y plus x plus f2, y minus x, right? Now let us calculate the particular solution. So it is 1 by d square minus d dash square e raised to power x plus 2y. So according to the rule, we will replace d by 1. And we will replace d dash by 2, right? So now when you replace d by 1, it will become 1 square minus 2 square e raised to power x plus 2y. So that comes out to be 1 minus 4 is minus 1 by 3. So we will get minus 1 by 3 e raised to power x plus 2y. So what is the complete solution? The complete solution z is equal to zc plus zp. So zc becomes f1 y plus x plus f2 y minus x and your particular solution is minus 1 by 3 e raised to power x plus 2. Right? So I hope you understood this problem. So now let's move on to the next question. The next question is solve d plus d dash square into z is equal to e raised to power x minus y. So again, let us first of all solve the complementary solution. So we have d plus d dash square is equal to 0. So we have m plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So that turns out to be m is equal to minus 1, minus 1. So the roots are equal, right? So the complementary function will become f1, y minus x plus x times f2, y minus x, right? Now from here, let's calculate the particular solution. So zp is 1 by d plus d dash whole square into e raised to power x minus y. So how to solve it? We will replace d with 1 and we will replace d dash also with minus. So when you replace d with 1 and d dash with minus 1, what will you get? You will have 1 minus 1, so that is becoming 0. So it's a case failure, right? So when the case fails, what will you do? You will multiply with x in the numerator and we will take the derivative of the denominator with respect to d. So that will become 2 into d plus d dash e raised to power x minus y. 
again we will replace d with 1 and d dash with minus 1 so again it's a case failure you can see it is becoming zero so we will again multiply with another x so it will become x square and we will take the derivative of the denominator so that is finally 2 so we have x minus y so what is the complete solution the complete solution is okay let me don't write here z z is equal to zc plus zp so that means it is f1 y minus x plus x times f2 y minus x plus x square by 2 e raised to power x minus right so i hope you understood the first rule for calculating the particular solution right so if you like the video do hit the like button and those of you who haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated videos thank you so much and have a nice day